Morning, afternoon, or evening, friend. Case Erickson here coming to you with an opportunity for you to unstick yourself. You better unstick yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> if you're feeling stuck in any way, shape, or form. Um, couple things. This is this mantra is for you. This truth is for you, my friend. And it's built on the foundation of taking responsibility. So, you know, I got this note from the universe. Uh, I got a note from the universe today. Um, it's an email thing that I joined that says, uh, with great responsibility comes great power. Uh, as opposed to, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, you might have heard, you know, it's like, no, great responsibility comes great power. So taking responsibility is essential. It's like the prayer, um, I don't even know, was it like, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can control or something like that. Um, <laughs> I just blamed Zevia. This message is brought to you by Zevia. Um, just kidding. Not, hashtag not sponsored. Okay, so I'll shut up and give you your mantra. So this is, you know, part of um, Out of Any Closet, the program Out of Any Closet, Foundations of Authenticity. So really what I, I work with with clients, whether that in the personal space or the business space, you know, finding our authenticity, finding our authentic voice, you know, branding, messaging, marketing, content, all those things. If you're in the business world, a lot of my clients seem to be in the business world right now. Um, and so it's really, really important to relate to yourself and your business as, as can do and just get out of your own way. So really understanding our, our thoughts and, you know, that's part of the, the roadmap to authenticity that I have in the, in the out of any closet program is, you know, uh, doing the mantras and doing the work and acknowledging, you know, taking responsibility and all those things. So this is your freebie today. Unstick yourself with this one. Um, if I got myself in, I can get myself out. Whew, yes, queen, and yes, king, and yes, anyone in between. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. So just take on the possibility that you got yourself into whatever situation you're feeling stuck in. Now, things could have happened to you that are outside of your control, and now you control the narrative around what you're making it mean. You control the story. You control if you're going to be at the victim of what happened to you. Like shit just happens. This is life. Like I haven't met anybody that has like, oh, nothing has ever happened to me at all. Like, no, like shit happens. Dot com. And then, you know, it's about moving out. So if I got myself in, I can get myself out. Like just take that on for yourself. Repeat it a couple times. In an effective way, you can also um, mix it up for yourself is to stress a different word each time. Say it a number of times. Do I have enough? I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to say like, <laughs> like this. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. If I got myself in, I can get myself out. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, if I got myself in, I can get myself out. Out, 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 out. Wooka, wooka, wooka. Wooka, wooka, wooka. <laughs> so, whew. Yes, queen, king, and everyone in between. If you need assistance in that roadmap, in that process, in that guidance, um, offering for you today is a free uh, strategy call, breakthrough call with me. Free with one and only. I won't even bring my wig or maybe I will bring a wig. You just tell me whatever you want me to wear and I'll wear it. No. So um, a lot of the times I have this like uh, bullshit meter because I've, I've been the bullshitter for so long. Um, and so that's what was occurring to me. So. Uh, to make this offering is like, yeah, let's do like, let's do some breakthrough calls. You know, I won't take an hour with you, but I'll take 15, 20. A lot of times I can get people unstuck because I hear the bullshit because I wrote that shit. So if there's some area you need some assistance in. Um, let's work it out. Let's work it out. Um, a lot of my clients right now are in the business space. Um, authenticity is very important in the business space. You know, we're getting sick of the bullshit. So we want authentic marketing, messaging, content. You know, and you really need to be in alignment with yourself and know who you are in order to be able to push that out, whatever your product is, whatever industry it is you're in. If you're not in alignment with yourself and you're out of authenticity, if you're in any kind of closet hiding from anything, mm -mm, that's not, mm -mm. <laughs> 
but uh uh that's not no i have i brought out my pencil and i have spoken that is not sustainable if you're in and i speak from like it's sustainable only if you're willing to medicate yourself through an, an addiction which i didn't even bring up addiction good lord i'm already talking for 5 minutes is anyone are you even still there um <laughs> Taking on addictions, yes, you know, some of my clients I've helped, you know, quit drink, quit smoke, quit all the things, because addictions are just symptoms of inauthenticity, in my, in my opinion, because you're medicating to cover up some shit that you don't want to deal with, and you don't want to deal with it because you feel like X, Y, or Z, you're just out of alignment. So let's get into alignment. Let's, uh, you know, if you're able to unstick yourself with that mantra, great. If you want, if you want to really like catapult um, and move yourself into spaces of authenticity, spaces of alignment, spaces of power, whether or not you're, you know, it's really coming up for me that I resonate with entrepreneurs a lot. Like most everyone in most all my clients right now are actually entrepreneurs as I'm thinking of it, but I'm not opposed to working with um, anyone else. So, you know, um, entrepreneurs, I really, I, I, I get your journey. I've been in your journey. I understand your journey and the impact that you make, particularly if you have employees, you know, wow. Just really, really, really important. And I know what I'm talking about now because I'm holding a pencil. Uh, <laughs> so I don't even know if anybody's watching anymore at this point. I'm just talking to myself. So me and my ginger root beer Zevia are going to end this snappy hour <laughs> with two snaps and a twist. <laughs> namaste, gay, namaste. I got no more to say. Okay, bye, friend. <laughs>